So here's how to safely reopen your church. And I'm, I'm not being coy here. This is a practical suggestion. If, uh, if you're very concerned about contagion and <laughs> contagions of, of various sorts. Now, of course, this will not protect you from the fake news media's uh, subconscious influence, which is um, misframing every single word that comes out of the pulpit, you know, but, but that's, you know, pastors will always ignore that. And uh, that's really what's going to kill the church. But if you want to protect your congregation from coronavirus, adopt an approach similar to something between the early Puritans and a recording studio. What do I mean by that? Well, <laughs> the early Puritans had these reserved boxes for certain families. So that's the principle of the thing you have. Um, it doesn't have to be reserved. Uh, it just has to be a sanitary uh, area. Maybe you can uh, have, you know, if you have members, maybe they can have their own box somewhere. And, of course, you see where this is going. You have isolation booths. Um, <clears throat> isolation booths meaning, um, you know, you have, like, plexiglass. Um, not not for the purpose of sound, of course, uh, but, but for the purpose of, um, you know, creating the proverbial, uh, you know, boy in a bubble kind of situation. Uh, or a family in a bubble, uh, in this case. Um, so, um, and then eventually the matrix comes and turns you all into batteries. No, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but no, you just, just you create, you, uh, you build isolation boxes. So if churches are serious about reopening, I would imagine that that's probably, um, that's, that's one practical approach to getting everybody um, back into church, uh, you know, who has uh, the, um, the fake news jitters about... Uh, the invisible enemy. This is America's man's man. America's man's man!